Welcome to the Museum Archive Software Project at www.musearch.com. The Museum Archive Software Project is designed to provide museums, historical societies, nonprofit organizations, schools, and other groups with some database software that they can use to organize their collection. Software is free, it's available at the website as a download, and there are no restrictions for its use. There is a premium version available if you buy the accompanying book from Amazon. And the premium version has the same functionality as the basic version does with some additional features. More details are available on the website. If you go to the features page, you'll see the features that each one of those versions has available. You can also look at the online version of the software's help right on the website before you download the software that gives you some idea of how the, the program works. There's a page about how to obtain support for the software and a little page about the whole project itself. And of course, if you go to the downloads page, you'll see that there are uh, links to the software package that you can download for installation. You just save it to your disk and then install it. And there's also a uh, help file that you can download as a separate uh, Windows executable file in case you just want to look at the um, help file offline. This is the Museum Archive software package basic version. The software runs in Windows machines and has the standard uh, menuing system on the left hand side that you might find in something like Outlook where you can click on various sections, bring up various menu choices. The main archive contains all of the objects in the in the collection. You click on the button to reveal a browse window. I've got some sample data here and these browse windows are designed to help you locate objects as quickly as possible. So you can use locator keys. I could type in a fraction of the object I'm looking for and it'll jump in the list to that object. You can sort by columns. You can go ascending and descending order. You can sort by multiple columns by holding a control key down and clicking. And you can do uh, various things like do a query. When you find the object that you want to look at, so if I look at, say, Please Please Me by the Beatles, I can either double click on it or come click on this change button and it'll open up the form that contains the information about this object. So if you look at the various uh, pages that are available, you've got basic info, images, the condition of the object, events, appraisals, the provenance, and just basic notes about the object. In addition, the object details are on a, a complete form which opens up. In this case, this is an audio object, so this particular object has multiple tracks, and each track has multiple performers and instruments. So the whole uh, software package is designed to enable you to keep track of all of your objects in various uh, forms, depending on what uh, category of object it is but it's also designed to help you find what you're looking for, maintain it, and output it either to a printer or to some other file. So take a look at the uh, software on the website, download it, play with it, there's sample data included, and get to know its um, features and functions.